Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Visa playing cards from Patrick Kuhn, Alex Pandrea, and thebluecrown.com. All right, so what are the Visa cards? Uh, this was originally a Kickstarter. It was a Kickstarter successfully funded, and these are the cards. And then in the Kickstarter, there was three decks that were printed. There was a red edition, a blue edition, and kind of like a gold white uh, private reserve edition. All three of them are really beautiful. So the concept behind the deck is based on travel. Okay, so tr you want to think about travel, discovery, exploration. It's a very elegant deck. It's made for everyday use, and it features Japanese artwork, which represents Asia. The front of the tech case uh, says Visa right across the front, and it says PK and AP present. And underneath that, it says Playing Cards 2017, and then it indicates which edition uh, the deck is. It uh, also says which edition it is on the top of the tech case as well. On one side, you have Alex Pandrea's autograph, and on the other side, you have Patrick Kuhn's autograph. And the bottom has some ad copy. The tuck flap has kind of like a little lotus uh, flower there, and the back design, of course, is the back design of the cards. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards come printed from the United States Playing Card Company, and they are done on the new crushed stock. Now, a lot of people always ask how these cards feel, how they handle. Uh, they feel great. They handle great. Uh, the best thing I can tell you also is uh, how thick they are. So if I measure 10 of these with a caliper, okay, I use 10 cards as my go-to. Uh, that's my standard. But with 10 of them in the caliper, they come to around 270. So they're in the two. 70s, uh, all three decks. All three decks vary a little uh, different, obviously. It was three different print runs, so they're not all going to be the same thickness. Um, but they're roughly the same thickness as the Keepers and the Killer Bees that Illusionist released. There's a close-up look at that back design. Uh, you got a nice thin poker border with a solid uh, frame around that. And then you have that beautiful uh, repeating pattern that looks like the, the Japanese artwork there. Uh, kind of looks like waves and lotus uh, leaves. And then you have the visa symbol on the top and bottom, creating a mirrored image. Looks like two arrows uh, with a crown, probably representing the blue crown. And it says, Escape, Discover, Journey. With this deck, you're going to get two original jokers. It is the V or the A symbol, uh, depending on how you look at it, uh, that's on the front logo of the tuck case. You're also going to get an original exploded ace pip that uh, has some of that intricate design work that you can see on the back design of the cards, uh, laden in the middle there of the center pip. And you're also going to get two extra gaff cards. Now, depending on which deck you get, your gaff cards might be a little different. Uh, if you get the red, deck or the blue deck, you're going to get a double backer with a red on one side, blue on the other, which is great if you buy the pair because then uh, you'll be able to do some really cool color changing deck routines. You're also going to get an extra two of hearts. Now that's nice. It's nice to have a spare, especially with a custom deck. It's nice to have a extra card that you can use for a lot of the card to impossible location tricks. Uh, if you get the private reserve deck, if you get the white gold edition, uh, you're going to get a double backer, but it's going to be a double backer for that deck only. Okay. It'll be a double backer for that deck only, and then of course you'll get the extra two of hearts as well. Your pips and indices will all be completely standard and instantly recognizable to anyone. Your court cards are going to have a standard bicycle appearance. Uh, they'll be instantly recognizable, making them perfect for gameplay, magic, flourishing. Uh, and you'll also notice that they have a little bit of custom uh, metallic ink uh, in there as well. It's kind of like a really pretty accent. All right, so that's my review of the Visa playing cards from Alex Pandrea and Patrick Kuhn. I want to thank Alex Pandrea for allowing me to have these decks so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase yours, you can find them at thebluecrown.com. Thanks. Bye.